GBP USD, you have to add it on your watch list. Listen, you have to add GBP USD on your watch list because it has a golden opportunity. And I'm here to show you, to share with you. The reason why I love doing monthly analysis, it's because it gives me a hands up of what I'm about to, uh, what has to happen, or maybe if I get an entry, at least I'm covered for only one month. So monthly analysis are perfect. And how I'm finding GBPUSD, let me tell you, it has a golden opportunity. So let's discuss about GBPUSD. So this is monthly time frame. This is monthly time frame, guys. Let me tell you, if there is something that people don't understand is that on the monthly time frame of GBPUSD, we have a double bottom that is all the way from 1985. Let me get it, 1985, this double bottom. I know many people have been coming to monthly time frame and you have never spotted this double bottom. It is here, 1985. That is when first attempt happened. So I'll put two lines like that. Let me show you two lines. So what, what does double bottom stands for? Double bottom stands for buy market. So this market will buy according to this double bottom only if WBB is confirmed, only if uh, we got a bullish engulf or something. So if an entry is confirmed, this double bottom will work. And you see, we have that double bottom and you can see the second attempt you can see the rejection of the second attempt and we got a green candle. You can see the WBB strategy says you wait for green candle, then you check if it's bullish and gaff. This green candle did not engulf the red. If not, you put what the box and you wait for the box to break. That's what we say, WBB wait box break. And I have said, I think in the next episode, I will, the lesson, I will now do a WBB, uh, like review it or come about it so that those people like talk about it or teach about it so that those people who don't understand what I mean by WBB, they can have a clue. So an entry, we were given an entry around here. Let's see, this is where we were given an entry for WBB. You can see the market gave us WBB. That's where we got that entry. So, First of all, let's first understand where is our neckline. This is a very huge double bottom. Where is our neckline? So let's look for our neckline. Our neckline is the highest point from the first attempt. So this is our first attempt. The highest point is here. So I'll mark it there. That's my highest point. And then what will I do? I will mark half. So I will mark half of this. So this market, uh, first of all, it has too many RBS. So there's RBS here, meaning that this market will eventually go up. So here we have RBS, meaning the market will go up. And then, so this is the half. Imagine half, it's 1.57. So most of the markets first, they go to half of the half, which we call quarter. So if we can measure from where the market is to the half of the half, you can see it perfectly went to the quarter. Many markets first go to the quarter before they approach to the half. So I don't know why I still believe there's a golden opportunity for GBPUSD to buy back to the half because if this market can come here and now fail to break through, they can make a double top. So that's already a thousand pips, but don't be shocked for to see this market coming all the way 1.57, that's 3,700 3, pips. That's a lot of pips. So the reason why I'm saying that GBPSD can be heading back is just that if we understand what has been happening is that we got WBB and the market proceeded to quarter half of the half. And then what, we, what happened is that as the market was proceeding to the quarter, you can see that there was something that was broken. A resistance was broken. You see, anytime the market breaks a resistance, it goes to the next resistance. That is a fact that you always need to know. If a resistance is broken, the market proceeds toward to the next resistance. So this market, it's not a wonder to see it coming to the next resistance. And you can see it had attempted. So anytime the market breaks a resistance, 
the next zone the market comes it is the next resistance and put, keeping in mind that we have a double bottom that the half is so far that analogy can be true so that is the first sign that the buyers are not yet done because if here we had a double top we didn't have a break this sale would be true another thing where we got an entry for the market we got an entry after this bullish candle that broke the box is where the market now is can you see that have you spotted so the mark the the, the so many People uh, say, I don't know if it is um, uh, proven, but there are strategy that if where you get an entry like this, this candle is what gives us an entry, the market comes to test back that area. So if at all we want to look for dub, a double bottom using monthly time frame, we cannot be looking for that because it has not yet been activated. So from the monthly perspective, we do not have a clear indication why we should be buying or why we should be thinking that this market will buy because basically the market is selling for three good months, starting from the month of August, month of September, and month of October. But us not having an indication for buy doesn't mean that we throw away idea of buying. It doesn't mean that we, it only means that on the monthly time frame, not yet a buy confirmation like a candle. Yes, the pattern is there. Yes, the buy will continue more than a thousand pips. But on the monthly time frame, they have not activated this double bottom, and that is to mean to us that they have a long, they have a long journey. GBPUSD monthly, no buy confirmation. So let's go to weekly and see what we have on the weekly time frame. The same double bottom. The same double bottom we are seeing on the monthly, it's still the same, still the same. But now on the on the weekly, this is the double bottom. So I will go changing color so that you can know. So let me put, let's say, a blue in color. So the darker one is the double bottom on the monthly. The green, the blue one is the double bottom on weekly. So nothing has been confirmed. You can see we have not got that activation. There's no activation. There is no activation of either monthly or weekly, nothing. So we can't say we have a double bottom on monthly and we can't say we have a double bottom on the weekly. Now let's go on the daily time frame. So when I was going on the daily, the reason why I'm saying GBP USD has a golden opportunity, this is why guys, this is the reason, this is the reason. When I come to, uh, when I come to daily time frame, guess what I see? Get, guess what I see? There is activation. So this one, I can make it yellow. We have a double bottom, a double bottom. Mind you, this is this, the big box is for the monthly candle. I have, a, let me first even remove it. I have a double bottom that has been activated. Notice monthly has not activated. Weekly has not activated. You can now imagine the activation has come from our monthly time, uh, from our daily time frame. So if at all I draw this area to show my first attempt, you can see the market has activated. In fact, it activated today. Today is on Tuesday, um, on that of, of October. That's when that double top was activated. So the double top was activated and I'm very, very happy knowing that once this double top has been activated, it is a very, very, I like it is a great, great news for me because they can use this double bottom to take this market up. Imagine this double bottom. If I go to weekly time frame, it is not there. Can you see? We do not have that double bottom. And that is the mind blowing. I'll be showing you with these lessons how to know which double bottom or double tops to take. We only know, we only take those double bottoms that appear on only one time frame. Don't trade a double bottom that is on four hour, that is on daily, that is on weekly, that is on monthly, and only four has given you CRD. Trade a double bottom that is only on one time frame. And in our case, there's a double bottom on daily. So what you should do, because we said we are learning together, you should now take out of your laptop, go to the daily time frame, and let us analyze this market. Let me delete everything 
So number one, pause the video. Uh, once you are settled, come, you switch it on, you play back. So you take the first line and put it at the body. Notice where the body is. I'm taking you slowly because this is a golden opportunity. We just need to analyze and wait. Market is analyze, fold your hands, wait for the action. So we are putting the first line at the body and the second line at the week of the body. So we are putting two lines, one at the body and the second one at the week of the body. So we are doing that. So you can imagine that good activation uh, that has happened there. So for me, I do this for purposes of telling myself that this double top is only available on daily. So whatever daily says, I have no worry of checking, is it on the weekly? So let's start from the monthly. Let's start from the monthly. So the monthly, you can see the market has not activated yet. Uh, when we go to weekly, this candle, we are checking this candle. The candle has not activated on the weekly and let's now go on the daily. When the daily has activated, there's no need of going to four hour because according to this strategy, daily and four hour, of course we will, we will prefer the higher time frame. So there's no need of us going to four hour. Already we have a time frame that has a double bottom. Let's identify our neckline. I'm very excited because if only this market gives us a chance to enter, if it gives us a WBB, because on the daily time frame we'll use a WBB. I want to show you what we'll be checking. You can see we have we have that. That is what we have. At least you're guaranteed that this market will go back to 25, and it is at 21.20 and it will go to 1.25. That is 500 freaking, like 500 pips, 500 pips. That's what I'm saying. GBPSD has a golden opportunity, 500 pips. That is a lot. So possible double bottom. So we have a possible double bottom. Follow, follow with me, make sure you analyze. Don't watch the whole video like a television, you're watching TV. Make sure you are with your chat, with your phone, with your laptop, and let's do it together because I'm helping you to be able to build your confidence and be able to start trading. Imagine making money with this trade. How would you feel, really? I would feel good. And also you yourself, the confidence will be great. So I'm helping you as you help yourself. You have to help yourself by getting out that laptop. So. Imagine that is all, that is all. I'm not sure if we have RBS here, it's a bit tricky because it has not, uh, I don't want to explain what is RBS, but um, I, will, I will leave it uh, like there is RBS because for sure if this market continue to go up and break this half, it will go to the neckline. So, Let's 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 understand this. Yes, there's RBS. I think there's RBS. So let's understand this. Which strategy are now are we now using? Which strategy are we now using? We are using WBB. And this one I'll take you step by step because WBB strategy. So WBB strategy, what do we use? We use three entry signals. So these are the three entry signals I want you to write. So WBB strategy, we use three entry signals. So we use three entry signal. Number one, wait for green candle because we want to buy. Number two signal, what are we waiting? We are checking. Yes, a green candle will appear. Will appear. <laughs> Check if it's bullish engulf. So we are checking if it's bullish engulf. So we check if it's bullish engulf. Number three and the last one, if not, if you have you are certain the green candle has not engulfed, use WBB. So we are using the box and then wait for the box to break. That's simply what it means. So 
uh, it's 30 minutes to time to our candle, the daily candle to close. So check this candle, the Tuesday candle, the third on Tuesday. If it will be green, now we'll, be, we'll put a box on that candle. So if this candle is green, for instance, if this candle closes green in the next 30 minutes, you can see here, we are remaining 26 minutes for this candle to close. If it is green, we'll just come and put the box here because uh, it has not engulfed the red. So we'll put the box like that if that candle is green. What if this candle turns to be like closes red? We'll not, we'll don't put a box. We'll be hoping the Wednesday candle either will be a green candle to engulf the red one. So we will hope that on, on, on Wednesday tomorrow that the candle will engulf like this and then we enter. Imagine, let's see how many pips, like 500 pips. So that is the reason why I'm telling you GBPUSD has a golden opportunity and the only way to maxim maximize this opportunity is to follow with this analysis because once this thing gives us these pips, these are so many pips. You can imagine to the neckline is 31. So from where the market is, if right now today you buy GBPUSD and say, I'll close it up to the neckline, you're making 1,000 pips. So this is a trade that can give you 1,000 pips. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope to see you to the next lesson. Love you. Bye-bye.